gorgeous. Oh. Not too sure how I broke it, Jules. Brutal. Too brutal with it. And so I've come in to see the lovely Julian Fairburn of Kim Pond Sporting with my broken bipod. And instead of fixing it, I've got a new one. <laughs> how come I've got a new one, Jules? Because you hand fisted and broke the other one. I've never seen one break. Have you not? No. I don't really know how I did it. It just pinged off. It just came off in your are you hand. Impre are you it? impressed that I um, kept just all the parts? It came off in your hand. Also, Cecil's got a new pair of legs. They're higher as well, aren't they? You can yeah. lower them though, can't you? They're, they're, not on the high, they're not at the lowest now, are they? Yeah. Is that the lowest? Yeah. No. How high do they go? Oh, oh. Now we're cooking with gas. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Unbelievable. Uncle Jules. I don't know what you did there. Unbelievable. Can you fix it? No, you've broken, you've lost a bit. No, I didn't. I picked up all the bits. What am I missing? The missing bit. The missing bit. Well, it did go ting and go flying off. You've, well, lost, thank... your, you've lost your nuts. I've lost my nuts. <laughs> Again. Hello and welcome to my first vlog, video log. I think that's what you call it. thought I'd do a little video this week um, just for a little insight into a week in the life of Lily. It's a semi-busy week. Um, there's something going on all the time. I am just at Frog Mary Green Farm, um, otherwise known as Farm and Field Cafe. I've come to get my milk with my holy cow. Um, obviously that keeps my milk cool because the summer is so hot here in the UK, I don't want it getting too warm on the way home. I have my own bottle. These I think were about, these are about a couple of pounds, have my own bottles but you can get them in the vending machine. So I'm just gonna trot off in there um, through that gate, show you what it looks like um, if you've never been to a milk vending machine before and then um, follow me for the rest of my week. So let's go. Oh, they do actually have bottles today. How much are they? £2.50, but I have my own. So this is the lovely vending machine at Frog Mary Green Farm, which is the home of Farm and Field Cafe. It's got your options for your milk. One litre, one pound fifty. Five hundred ml, pound. You get all your bottles in there, bit of cheese. You can do milkshakes. And the milkshake shots are there. I don't know if you see that. And also, it does come with instructions if you've never used one before. I do have my own little milk carrier because in the summer, um, it obviously keeps it cooler. And my bottle, that is a litre bottle. I, um, when they're empty, I put a little bit of water into it, shake it up, spin it out, bottle brush it um, if required and shove it in the dishwasher upside down. Um, so let's get some milk. Okay, so I've got to make sure my spout lines up that is lining up so then I can leave that to fill itself. Can't beat fresh milk. Organic too. Oh, a little bit of squirting and spinach there. Easy as that. Oh hell. That is what? That is what? Some a little bit of spillage. Done. Always got to do a taste test. That's good. Sometimes I have to buy two or a big one and a little one because I'll, dr I'll drink it by the time I get home. stuff I've just noticed which I thought was really good got a QR code so if you scan it videos on how to use the vending machine so there's no excuse and this really handy becomes somewhat of a handbag now Frogberry Green Farm the home of Farm and Field Cafe can be found on Instagram and everywhere like that has diversified quite heavily 
as a farm. So they still run as a farm. They've got a AD plant, they've got an anaerobic digester. There is a spa here. Um, there's a wedding venue and there's obviously the cafe, vending machine, and there are some gardens with a big lake and a fountain and everything. So I'm just gonna give you a quick whip round to show you what it looks like. Um, just in case you wanted to visit, it's a lovely spot. Obviously it doesn't look that great today because it's not very sunny because it is the end of August in the UK and it's not gonna be sunny. But let's have a whip round. This is the cafe. Obviously it's all closed. There's lots of seating. And there is a wood burner there. So you can sit out in the winter months. And they had this as like a wild meadow. There it is, the flower meadow. So you could sit out here in the summer. So that was cute. So we've got the vending machine there. That's the spa wedding venue and the cafe. There is a road in between, but I'm just gonna trot off down and show you a little bit of the lakes quickly. I am parked just here. Um, but in the summer, this is lovely. It's so pretty. You can walk down here and there's fields and, and there's actually like a little kids sort of play thing up there as well. But I'll just, this does honestly look nicer when it's sunny, but it's just such a nice spot. The road you can probably hear is the 303. Not ideal, but you can't see it. It is literally there. Um, but it does make it accessible um, for everyone to get here. You don't have to trot through loads of villages um, or anything like that to get to the farm. So that's good. There's lots of parking. That is a humongous car park there as well. I'm just going to whip you around so you can see the lake. So this is the lovely lake here. You can see up there, there is... Um, a field it's got loads of flower beds and that in the summer it's really pretty you can walk all the way around the outside of here and that fountain is there so it's a nice little spot to chill out Good evening, it is Friday. I've just finished work. I've arrived at Mid Somerset Showground. Um, I can hear that there's some music going on. We've got a pre-show meal. Um, I'm not too sure what's on the menu. A little bit of dancing. Um, so I'm just waiting for everyone to arrive. I'm early for once and everyone that knows me knows that I'm not um, early that often. Um, so as soon as they arrive, I'm gonna head on in um, and see what's going on. It's like a ghost town, isn't it, like this? Yeah. Oh, through your pop. lovely Zoe and Zoe's gonna show us how to make Zoe's special punch. <laughs> what we got going in now? <laughs> Is that enough? Oh my well. lord. Alright, cranberry. Two shots of vodka. <laughs> the, but the bottle's in their entirety. Okay. Then we want to add ginger ale. Oh, okay. oh squirted. <laughs> Whole thing? Mm, half, not half. all of it, because it can be quite bitter. Right. Okay. Then we want fizzy apple juice. Was that an attempt to mix it then? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's looking very clear. And then we want. That's a lot two, of alcohol in there. Two. Things of crunch. I'll hold that, you open the other one. I might have made this too strong. Really. A bit 
too strong, you reckon? <laughs> That's a punch that you're probably not going to be okay tomorrow. <laughs> Go and get a glass, Zoe. Good old mix. Cool, that's a bit of Exmoor punch. Callie? Hello? Hello? Little show doggy. You alright? Callie, come here. Sit. Sit. Oh, are you going to sit? Sit up. Oh, you're so good. Yo, 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 yo. Come on, hon. I've got you most of them off, but these are me um, prize winning onions and also me, me carrots there. So. But, um, Look how many fast so you got. Ones gone. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, uh, and a special award there. What was the special for? Uh, Best the special. Onions. Oh, that's for your onions. And then I had most points overall. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Most points for fruit and veg, and that's obviously that cut. And, and then we one. have this one. Well, that one there is a no goer. That one it was, it was too ugly. So these weren't no go. These were rejects. All right, but these are the ones that sort of... Are you meant to leave were, the long bit on Yeah, that's here. the tap root. Yeah, that's got to stay on. Tap so. root? That's the tap root. They've, all, the tap got, they've all got a tap root, which is that, which is what goes down to make it grow. Oh, is it? Yeah, so that's that. Why do you tie your onions at the top? That's what they've got to be, but they should be really folded over, but because I've just pulled them, they're too thick in the neck to do that, and when they die off... You turn them and fold them, but that's... And you've got some cups as well. Yeah, that's it. That's the Eddie and Joyce cup for best... Um, uh, most points in the veg and... And what's the little well, one sure, for? Uh, I'm not sure what this one. Do you get to keep that one? I think no, you get to... the, it, it's um, best fruit and veg. I think I've got that one for my onions, I think, so... Um, oh, well done. So I'm over the moon with that. I'm not surprised. Big smiles. My beet right there, and that's my little shallots there. So they're like little pickling oh, shallots. Oh, you've tied those as well. Yeah, they're all tied. Yeah, they go on a plate of sand. But I got photographs of them all done. So. Do you have to cut your beet root, or the, no, did they the cut it? Did that. Yeah. God, that looks look perfect. So, uh, yeah, that one for us. So I'm going to boil them and pickle them all. And that's the jar is all ready for that. Everything's all ready. Yeah, Aww. So. of the New Forest Hounds, please do go on to their website. Alternatively, you can ask our husband who's with the hounds there, and he'd be able to give you uh, any information at all, or any of their head servants that are also there. Thanks to the uh, masters today of the uh, hunt, allowing them to come here to uh, display. It is... <laughs> Well, what a fabulous sight to see them today. Even the new forest pony there as well, well spotted. Just telling them to go across country and they're really hunting across the country. Mind you, they're a little bit confused because they're not running after anybody. Thank you to uh, Jack, our huntsman there today. Thank you very much, Jack. Thank you to the masters as well. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a huge round of applause because it is a lovely sight. They've come all the way from the New Forest area. Thank you so, so much. Fabulous. Yes. Well, we're thinking the staff college are the ones with all... Very smartly turned out, girls. Which is your hunt, India? This one here? The one in the middle? Take to side. It's neck and neck between them as they're turning. Over to fence number three. It really is neck and neck between the two of them. Now, they've got to cross and very carefully go in between the two poles. But it's Lucy's just slightly in the lead. She's she going ahead of uh, Georgette on the far side. Lucy now is going to hand over to Zach. Zach, get ready. Oh, five seconds to out there. But now, gone into the lead. Is, uh, she's going into the lead now with Staff College. Staff College got into the lead. Nothing to add for them at the moment. Zach is trying hard to catch up. He's got to catch that five seconds up. 
South College. Oh, I love donkeys. <laughs> They're so cute. Not going anywhere in a rush. I have just finished my morning stint at the Midsummer Set Show. I've been on the stand giving out teas and coffees, meeting and greeting everyone, giving out pasties and cakes. And now um, I've finished, it's midday, so I'm heading off to a barbecue. Last night, um, or yesterday rather, I cooked a lot of pasta. Um, I think about two kilos of pasta. Um, and so I'm doing pasta, mozzarella, um, tomatoes, pesto and chicken um, to take to the barbecue. Um, so I'm heading heading off there now. Um, the show's been a great success so far. Obviously, I'm not staying until the end, um, but I've just seen um, the hunts going around the rings, so I, st I stayed to watch that. Um, so it's been dry, it's sunny. Um, as you can see from my, wind my hair, flailing around a little bit um, it's been a little bit windy um, but it was spitting with rain this morning so I did think um, gosh I haven't bought an umbrella um, but then it's actually turned out okay um, it's only 23 degrees 22 23 that's not hot for August it should be hotter than that um, but it's not raining so that's a huge plus point so if you've come to Mid Somerset show I hope you've all enjoyed it um, and I better head off because I'm running late as usual it is Wednesday evening. Sorry that I've um, missed a couple of days in between. Been quite busy. Um, I'm just out with the wonderful Steve. Hi. Say hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Um, we are out um, doing our normal Wednesday activity after work, which is um, shooting. As you can tell, August in um, the UK is not going very well because I'm back into a top, a gelée and a smock. So I actually look like I'm just about to go beating. But it is seven o'clock in the evening and it is, it is quite cold. Um, so um, let's crack on and see what we can find. Have a little wander around, get our steps in. Um, and yeah. right-handed aren't I let me get it up on my shoulder anything a man can do I can do better quite much faster than you eh Steve yeah oh oh I feel my calves are burning cool yep this is a workout this is doing my legs who needs the gym good evening it is Thursday night um, I finished work. I am now at Mendip Shooting Ground with my Bretta um, to have a little lesson, have a little play around to see if I can do lots of air bashing or to see if I can actually improve. So let's see how it goes. When you want to shoot at a playground, it always helps if you have the um, card to make the traps work. Just had to trot back quite quickly and get one because everyone's waiting for me. Oh, that bit of pile of gravel. The magical card to make it work. Right, let's see how badly this is going to go. I'll probably miss them now, you know that, don't you? Yeah. Pull. Pull. <laughs> Remember mine? Yeah. It's kill, bank, kill. Kill, bank, kill, right. Pull. <laughs> Pull. Yes! Yes! No gun, stare at the target. Right, big rainbow. Pull. Oh. 
That's top barrel, let's do bottom barrel. Let's get rid of that one. Let's do that again. Pull. Yes. That's more like it. So just finished shooting. Tonight hasn't gone too badly. I've learned a lot of um, tips and tricks from my lovely um, friend that's been helping me, who's a little bit camera shy. Um, but yeah, so I, I hope you've enjoyed looking at a couple of videos of me um, shooting. I was actually better than I thought I'd be tonight. Um, couldn't mask the rabbit, not really too concerned um, because I want to do sport and I know you need to be able to do the rabbit, but not the end of the world. But yeah, here's to a good evening shooting. Good evening and happy Friday. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my little video log this week. Never done one of these before. Hope it gives you a little bit of an insight into what I get up to. Um, bearing in mind, I do work Monday to Friday, nine till five. For those of you that don't know, I work in the insurance industry, specifically um, farm and commercial insurance, but my specialism is predominantly farm insurance. Um, I've done it for many, many years. So that's why I'm missing during the daytime because I'm working. Um, there was a couple of days missing. I do apologize, a couple of evenings missing rather. I do apologize for that. Um, I'm just heading off to a speed sharing party competition now. So I'm just gonna finish off with a few clips of that just, just to show you what goes on there. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you all have a good weekend, have a good week and all that jazz. So I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>